kingdom we're in, we should strive for excellence, nobility, and greatness in order for us to inspire and to influence people in order for them to be the best versions of themselves. Thank you so much. Hello, Mr. Pampanga. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, of course, first and foremost, congratulations for making it to the top 15. And what does this journey mean to you? How is it important? What does it mean to you? The brotherhood that you share, you know, is it important to you? Be happy with the journey? Seeing all these new wonderful people have been an amazing experience and I can't thank you all enough for the fun that we had together, and especially the organizers. Uh, thank you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. And I believe you guys built a family inside this organization. But of course, you have to undergo the question and answer portion. Are you ready? Okay. Your question for tonight is, what makes the world equality to be in the next level, especially in a male-dominated world. Once again, what makes the world equality to be in the next level, especially in a male-dominated world? I think the word equality uh, isn't the right word to use in this male-dominated world. I think that Equity is a more proper word to use here in this situation because, of course, both genders have have their own advantages, disadvantages. They have their own benefits, or they have uh, yeah, the disadvantages and advantages. So, if we use the word equity, we will treat each gender with the with the respect that they deserve in the proper manner. In the proper manner that they deserve. Thank you. Thank you so much. Up next, so let's have Manila City. Good evening, Manila City. And how are you feeling that you're part of the top 15? I am really happy and I didn't expect this. And I believe one question stands you between you and the crown. Are you ready? I think so. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time standing here in front of you because I have a fear of public school. But I think I, I agree to my fear. I believe you'll, you'll overcome it today, brother. You may now pick your question from the book. Your question for tonight is, which profession would make a perfect king? A lawyer, a doctor, a farmer, or an actor, and why? Once again, which profession would make a perfect king? A lawyer, a doctor, a farmer, or an actor, and why? I think for me, all those peoples are deserved to call as a king. Because they are using their professions by helping other people. And that's what we all thank you. Thank you so much. Our next finalist would be the Filipino community of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Ano mo na you're here in the Philippines, you're representing the Filipino community of Saudi Arabia. I'm really happy because for five years, I wasn't able to come to the Philippines. Uh, so given this opportunity uh, from King of the World Philippines, I was uh, I was full of joy when they told me that I would be representing and I would be coming home to the Philippines. Are you ready for your question? Did you say yes? Okay. Thank you question from the goal.
Your question for tonight is, for you, what is the biggest contribution of the Filipino to the Philippine society today? Once again, for you, what is the biggest contribution of the Filipino to the Philippine society today? I think it's our resilience that no matter what life throws at us, may the results be positive or negative, we always come out victorious and we always use that as an advantage to inspire others and not feel good and not feel envious of what they don't have. Rather, be contented of what they have and always showcase love for one another. God bless. Thank you so much for that answer. Let's Up next, Easter Summer. Yes, Alright, you have any message to all the Wari Wari who's watching right now and supporting you? To all the Wari Waris that are watching me right now, I hope that I have made you proud, you know. It is an honor to represent our province, the province of Eastern Solomon. You may now pick your question from the board. Your question for tonight is, which profession do you think would make the best king? A lawyer, a priest, an actor, or a farmer? And why do you say so? Once again, which profession do you think would make the best king? A lawyer, a priest, an actor, or a farmer? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Although all of this profession deserves to be called the king. But I would say, as a future civil engineer, I would say an engineer should also become a king. Because I want to build the king. Thank you so much, Mr. Samar. Up next, let's have Hanam Kalamba. Hello, good evening. Are you ready for your question? Okay, without further ado, take your question from the board. So your question is, what particular initiatives or causes are you passionate about? If you win as the first ever King of the World Philippines, how do you plan to use this platform to make a positive impact? Again, what particular initiatives or causes are you passionate about? If you win as the first ever King of the World Philippines, how do you plan to use this platform to make a positive impact? Good evening, everyone. For me, I should be a good example to all of my fellow youths and fellow kings out there in order for me to be where to call the king. I must also possess an optimistic mind and a leadership and also I, I must be able to maintain all of that. So considering that we're currently living in the 21st century right now where social media is, has become the platform, the perfect platform for us to share. And I want to use this opportunity to conduct a seminar regarding about social issues. So in that case, we can make all of our fellow Filipinos aware. And that's all. Thank you so much. Let's have our next finalist for tonight. Los Banos Laguna. Well, so how do you feel na maraming kayong Tagalaguna na mapasok sa top 15 finalists? So, ngayon na po sa lahat, sobrang sayo po namin dahil lahat po ng kami ng Tagalaguna is pinangarap makapasok. And yung iba po is di pinalat. Pero nandiyan pa rin po sila nakasuporta sa amin. Are you ready for your question? Yes po. <laughs>
your question for tonight is, which characteristic or trait must a real king have? First and foremost, wisdom, leadership, bravery, or love, and why? Once again, which characteristic or trait must or a real king must have? Wisdom, leadership, bravery, or love, and why? Para sa akin, ang isang mga patanging karakteristik na kakailangan ng isang magahari sa isang kingdom ay ang pagmamahal. Dahil ang pagmamahal nito sa akin yung mga kinasasakupan ay magiging isang magandang kingdom. Dahil siya maglilit sa kanila at gagawin ng lahat, mga plano, para ma-extrakatuparan lahat ng kanilang mga gustong gawin at mga kailangan nilang ipatupad sa isang kingdom. Katulad na lamang ng isang presidente na ginagawa lahat para maging masakayos ang isang bansa. Hindi lang ang Thank you so much. Ayan, nakihinga na siya nung malalim. Indeed, and we only have two more finalists to go. Let's call on Las Piñas City. Hi, good evening. Kamusta naman ang nararamdaman mo ngayon? I feel like I'm, I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Are you ready for your question? More than ever. the country's problems would you like to solve first? A. Corruption Poverty Environmental damage or criminality Why? Again, as a king of the world Philippines, which among the country's problems do you like to solve first? Corruption Poverty Environmental damage or criminality and why? I would choose criminality because majority of the crime that is committed in our country and to this world is due to the men who lack emotional stability and lack emotional intelligence and self-control. With my advocacy of men empowerment, I believe that I can do what I have to do along with the platform of King of the World to help the people around us to become more aware, for us to become more emotionally intelligent, emotionally controlled, so that we can live in a world more with peace because we cannot sacrifice any more children, any more slaughter, and any more crime that is committed in our country. We should be one as Filipinos for us to be proud as a nation as one, as a King of the World, Philippines! Thank you so much. I love how you emphasize that we have to be emotionally intelligent. And of course, last but definitely not the least, Pasig City, the last of the top 15 that will undergo Q&A. How are you feeling tonight, bro? I am grateful and thankful and I am ready. Okay, ready as you are, you will now pick your question from the board. Your question for tonight is, if you could achieve any dream, regardless of obstacles and limitations, what would it be? And how can it possibly impact your life and the lives of others? Once again, if you could achieve any dream, regardless of obstacles and limitations, what would it be? And how can it possibly impact your life and the lives of others? Thank you. Of course, I'm going to use my advocacy, which is natural resources utilization and also youth empowerment because we need to utilize the natural energy so that we can have a free form of energy, clean, safe, and cheap. That's why the life of the Filipinos and not just the Filipinos will go to have a safe life and also a cheap. And then I can also inspire the people. Of course, that's why I want to use my voice to inspire the youth because I'm me myself. I am not a rich person, but I am standing here in front of you fighting and never ever give up. I'm doing everything I can to win this crown 
and to be the voice of the voiceless and also to the pride of my Pasigeno. That's all, thank you. Thank you so much, Pasig City, and that